TitleMatchNetwork.com. What happened between you and Coco? Beware. <clears throat> really strange. Uh, Chicago, Illinois, is Rosemont Horizon. I'm sitting in the locker room. He comes in and he says something to me. And uh, I'm like, what? And he said that I said something about him. And, and I really didn't. I mean, I'd say it on tape, obviously. I don't bullshit. And I'm like, like, what are you talking about? You know? And he says, you know, again, he says something. And all of a sudden, he hits me, punches me in the face. So I stood there. And I went, this motherfucker just punched me in the face. Other boys around or no? Oh, yeah. We're in the locker room. All right. You know? So all of a sudden, I'm like, dude, I don't want to fight you. Because in my mind, I'm going to get fired like this. He's on top. I'm a fucking shit. I'm going to get fired. So boom, boom, hits me with two more punches in the face. And I'm like, listen, I told you I don't want to fight. Now, if I punch you in your face three times and you stand there and tell me that, I'm going to shake your hand, tell you I'm sorry, and get the fuck away from you. Because obviously I can't hurt you, you know? But he's so fucked up on drugs, he ain't thinking that way. He's not using his brain rationally. So I'm like, well, fuck, I got to do something here. So I grab him, hook him around the head, and I'm holding him like this. He starts biting me on my side. So I'm standing there, and I swear to God, I'm this nonchalant. I'm like, this fucking guy's biting me. He's fucking biting me. So I'm like, all right, I'll bring him down to the floor, right? Get better control. As I go to bring him down, my his head slips out. So now I'm on my back. He's on top of me. So I'm like, well, fuck this. This is not a good situation. I got to get him off me. So I get him off me. I stand up. By this time, I think Jack came in. The agent came right. in. Lanza. Lanza came in. And, um, you know, I'm trying to get Jack in between us. This fucking guy wants to fight me. So I gave him a quick bip. And he stopped. And now he's like, you know, get out of here, get out of here. So he goes downstairs to his locker room. He had his own room with the bird. So I'm sitting there and, and Heenan comes over to me and he says, you know, what happened? I'm like, I don't fucking know. He goes, why didn't you find him back? I said, because I get fucking fired. That's why. No, you won't. You won't. I said, yeah, I will, Bobby. I'll get fired, man. It's not worth it. You know what I mean? So he goes, um, I'll, I'll back you. I'll back you up. I'll go to the office and tell him he came in and start with you, blah, blah, blah. I said, you'll back me. He goes, yeah, I'll back you. So I go downstairs. And um, mind you now, I ran with the people who ran Chicago. So if something had to be done, it would be easy. All joking aside. Because my boys came in one night and Lanza told me to tell them to leave. And I said, yeah? You tell them to leave. Because they're your friends. I said, that's right. And they built the Rosemont. They own this place. I ain't telling them shit. You go tell them. No, that's okay. They can stay. <laughs> Fucking right, they can stay. And they walked me out to the rink. Who the fuck's going to tell them no? You know? So I went downstairs. I started banging on his door. Who is it? I said, open the fucking door, man. Fuck you. I'll go to the office tomorrow. We'll straighten it out. I said, open the fucking door because I'm going to kick your fucking ass. You know, fuck you. I said everything I could to get him out of that fucking room. And he wouldn't come. So we get on, we, whatever, we get on our plane, you know, blah, 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 do our thing. He's sitting in the back. I don't pay him no mind. So then uh, they get me a TV. Pat calls me into a separate place. He goes, uh, so uh, I heard you got in a fight. And I'm like, I didn't get in a fight. So he looks like really befuddled, right? He's like, what do you mean you get in a fight? I said, I didn't get in a fight. He goes, yeah, you got in a fight with Coco Beware. No, I didn't. He goes, what are you talking about? He goes, you know, you and Coco Ware, Coco Beware, you know, started, uh, you know, punching each other. I said, no, no, no. Time out. Coco Beware punched me in my face three times. I didn't fight him back. So there was no fight. So now he doesn't know what the fuck to say. So he's standing there like, you know, he went, you know, Pat, well, he didn't know what to do. And I, I had said to Pat, too, I said, I didn't throw a punch, so you can't fire me. Just like that to him. And he's like, okay, well, uh, you know, it's whatever answer he fucking gave me. Like, just 
get ready to go on TV or whatever the case may be. Right. And that was fine. So then uh, I was on another flight. Coco was in the back and I went to use the pisser. I came walking back there and he goes, hey, man, he goes, uh, you know, like, sorry about, you know, what happened. And I said, dude, it's okay, man. I said, you couldn't fucking hurt me anyway. <laughs> and I walked in because I, I, I wanted him to, to fire back at me because right. then we were going to throw down. But he never did. And I let it blow over and that was the end of it. Water under the bridge? Water under the bridge.